Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be drawing Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat. So the new Sub-Zero. So did I did Sub-Zero versus Scorpion. That video seems to be doing well. So I thought I'd do Sub-Zero on his own and maybe I'll do Scorpion on his own as well. So I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and an eraser. Take your time, hit pause if I go too fast and try have fun. Okay, so, standard sort of portrait, okay? So you could draw like an oval if you wanted to get you started, but I like to start just with the eyes, but some people like to just sketch out, you know, um, a circle or an oval or something, split it in half. You can, it's not essential. If you're following long tutorials like this, you don't really have to do that, because, you know, I just go right in with the eyes. So we'll start with his eye, and then, move on so we'll go center point up over to the right hand side right so basic human eye right so we go diagonal up then across like so and then we can bring it diagonal down and in and then we can do a line sort of like that on the other side you can finish that line if you want you can curve it over if you want I don't really like to, it's just, it, it's like a style choice. So I'm just gonna leave that open and then add the iris just up there. And then the pupil just in the middle, like so. And you can add sort of lines around his eyes if you wanted, that kind of stuff, right? So measure the width of his eye bring that across, you can fit an eye in between, okay? Here to here is about an eye. And then you wanna go diagonal again, and then across, and then down, and then in. And then this comes across like so. Right, and then his iris, same sort of thing again. So you'll just curve a line down there. And then his pupil inside. Like so, right? And if you want, you can add sort of some details around. Like so. So his eyebrows, so he's got sort of bushy-ish sort of eyebrows. So they kind of just come up like so from here, back to there, and then we bring it down into there. And it can have texture lines on it. That kind of thing, right? And then we do pretty much the same thing on this side. Or you could just color them black. That's perfectly acceptable as well. And then his nose will come down. Just a line for his nose down here. and Maybe a little one on the other side. Like so. All right, so then we got his mask and his sort of helmet, right? So he's got this sort of... We'll do the top of his mask first, I guess. So we'll just like bump a shape across here. And this like bumps again and then comes up to like here. And we'll like bump twice, okay? That way, right? And then we got this kind of love heart shape that comes around, okay? So it's gonna go like around his eyes, down in the middle, like so. And then it'll, Curve back up around here. Okay. Then the general shape for the mask. So it's going to go up around the side of his head, right? So it's going to go like this way. 
up towards where his ears will be. This side kind of similar sort of thing. Up to there. Then we're going to bring it down. So it's quite wide. So this comes down like so. This comes down as well. To there. And then we go down. And we're, and we're going down to sort of where his chin would be, right? So the chin is just down here at a point, right? And in general, you want the eyes to be about halfway down the head, I guess. But we got like masks and stuff involved, so it's probably a little bit more. But like roughly, say where the top of his head would be. But it's a rough estimate because the mask is actually longer than his chin, so we'll just roughly. And if we need to fix anything, we can. Right? General shape for the mask, and then we'll just get his head in, right? So we get all the proportions correct. So like top of his head, I'd say is about there. So roughly like eyes to say, because it, it, like there's extra length. So I would say maybe eyebrows to top of his head is about the same as eyebrows to chin. Just because the mask is longer than his chin. If it was a standard human face, the eyes would be halfway down. That'd be the, you know, that's probably where his like skull is. But I'd say his chin is actually in here, right? So eyes to chin is about the same as eyes to top of the head. And then he's got like a bit of a helmet and stuff, so. So, you know, we're a bit out. So I would say for this drawing, eyebrows to top of the head, about the same as eyebrows to chin there. Anyway, less talking. So we'll just bring this around. Trying our best just to keep in proportion. So you won't go too far wrong if you keep the this sort of area halfway down, right? See that? Sort of eyebrow area. You'd be doing okay. Okay, so. Right, there's lots of detail and stuff on this mask of his, right? So we gotta just, we'll take it step by step. I'll try and simplify the shapes as best I can. So, we've got like these hooks or teeth. Just there. And then there's like a grill or a grid coming across the front here. So it like comes down to a point. Back up to there. And then this has like um, a line down the middle. Like so. And then these sorts of shapes that come down and across. So let's say from here. So we'll just go like that on each side. And that's the best I can do. All right, like so. And you'll just sort of do the same thing. Coming down each side. Just getting the sort of rough idea, you know? And then they get kind of smaller as we get in here. So on the edge, so we got like, this sort of area has got like cheek on it, cheek line. off like so and then we've got like an interior so it's like black sections it's like this is a black section and then this will be 
a black section as well. Goes down. Like so. There. And then we seem to have another dark section here. On that side. And then a circle. Dark section there. And we do the same thing on the other side. So like a circle, dark section. And then another dark section here. Like so. And dark section there. And dark section under here. Okay, so these bits can have extra details and stuff on them as well. So let's see. So we'll go like a line coming down this way. Like so. And then another section here. Lots of sort of detail on these. I won't do like everything on them. I'll just add as much as I can for you. Because we would be here all day if I did everything. So like these have sort of edge lines to them, you know, like pieces of metal. This kind of stuff. Maybe like another edge line here, line going down that way. Another edge line there, and goes down that way. Another line this way. up here ba -ba -ba. so just Doubling up some of these lines, these edges, sort of making them just a bit more detail, it's trying to hint at detail. And then there is like a spiral line sort of here somewhere and it has a circular edge to it And more detail just on the mask down here, like a ridge going down underneath. So again, you don't really have to do all of this, but
like so and i'll just color in these dark black so that is roughly the idea with his mask right so then his helmet right so we've got this sort of v-like shape that comes down the front like so and then more strapping and things that go all along here right so then this one comes down and then this wraps around the back of his head there and we're pretty much symmetrical so what you do on one side you want to do on the other side roughly doesn't have to be exact like so and then we've got like another V like section here. And it's a more strapping sort of crisscrossing over one another. Some go under, some go over. Like so. And that goes that way. And this one should go over actually. Should go over that one. And then kind of comes down inside his ear. Down inside there. Like so. And I'll just, I raised a bit of a mistake here. I'll raise this line. It should have went over it, not under it. Right, so then, and if you want like texture lines and things on these. straps and stuff but might be another line here maybe another one here just some texture and if you want you can add some shadows just so what that means is like thickening up some of these lines some of the edge lines just makes it look like there's a shadow underneath some of these parts. Uh, right, so then his collar and his armor and stuff like that. So, so we'll go out, both sides. You pretty much go just like down, like so. Down like so. Then the inside of that will go down towards his neck so like the inside comes out comes down like this and then we'll bring these across to there and then in here we have more sort of this stuff that's on his head right so whatever it is, I'm not really sure. It's like rubber or something. Right, so we got like a sort of ovalish sort of shape of it here, whereas Adam's apple would be. And then diagonal curved lines. And it'll go around his neck, right? So it goes like up like so. And I'd say it's, you should probably see, I can't see it in the picture, but I imagine we should see his neck sort of coming down here somewhere. And then these strappings will go up around his neck, around the back of his head. Roughly like that. Right, so then the rest of his armor, right, so this will go down. 
and it'll curve across like so. Same on this side, pretty much down, curve across to there. Let me have a couple of layers of plates of armor, right? So we got like one comes down here, one comes down. down to there and then this comes down like so and then you do this one like that down like so and then we go again so we have another layer comes out down like so down around here and this comes up to a spike. How high up is the spike? It's about here, is it? It's aligned kind of with his chin. So yeah, just about here. And then this will come out and down. Like that, and we do pretty much the same thing on this side. So, and we just sort of add extra edge lines to these because they're pieces of metal. Boom, another one here. So, and then down here, like that, and this one comes down here. Up to there. And then his shoulder, so you're like, for the shoulder, you're about head width, you know? So the width of his head comes out to about there, and that's where the shoulder will be, see that? Boom. And then his shoulder comes down like so. Right, you kind of do the same thing on this side. So roughly like head width. And then we got like plate of armor on the shoulder as well. One like that. And another one here. You're just copying this side, like so, diagonal, and then up to there. And I think just one more piece of armor that comes down across here. He's got lots of armor on, like so. I'm gonna add edge lines to those again. Coming across, like so. goes down and I think he's got like a line yeah like a crack or something going up there and a crack going up here like that right and then we got chest armor so sorry I cracked my knuckles um, this goes down diagonal that way diagonal that way and maybe some lines just for his clothing or something in under here, you know, for his shoulder and bicep and standard clothes just under there. And this is an edge line going down. Like so, and then he's like cross straps that go this way. strap 
here go the same way and then some lines up here as well so like a color and a third like that right and he has got like crazy amounts of detail here i won't do that because we'll never finish the video but then there is like lines and x's i think on this part which is interesting i wonder what they signify and just like some lines coming across here as well so Again, totally optional on much of this you want to do. This kind of stuff. So these are kind of like stitches or something. flat plate of armor yeah but like you could add like a line down the middle something going that way maybe like so um uh, he does he's lines on this i'll draw that in you might he, they're, they're dead straight lines well, semi dead straight, but I'll, I'll use a ruler. Okay, but I think that's everything. That is how to draw Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.